Another formula that you have is at the top of page 432. That formula looks like this, PV equals R, 1 minus, square bracket, 1 minus 1 plus I to the N, I to the negative N, sorry, all over I, where I, R, and N are all similar things. Now, what this formula is for is for when you're getting a loan. So let's say you are borrowing money to buy a car. Very first typical loan that people get. How many monthly payments is it going to take to pay off the car? So a person borrows 15000 to buy a car. So the present value, you owe $15,000. You can afford to make monthly payments of $300, and they'll charge you an interest rate of 6% compounded monthly. So the I in this situation is the same. It is the interest rate per compounding period, all divided by I, which will be 0 0.06 divided by 12. So again, when you get this question, you will be given the formula and a description of what each of the values mean. Once you've got that, now we need to simplify our equation. Can you see that you could start by multiplying both sides by 0 0.06 over 12? Fifteen thousand times point zero six divided by twelve, seventy five. Um, somewhat, yeah. I mean, th because the number we're starting with is so large. That's why it works out to be a nice whole number in the end. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 300. I won't need those square brackets anymore. Seventy-five over 300, if I do change that to a decimal, 0 0.25. I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. Then I get negative 0.75 equals, there's still a negative sign there. And so to get the power all by itself at this time, I'm going to need to multiply both sides by a negative, which means I'll get positive 0.75. And I've got my power by itself. So we have to do a little bit of algebra to simplify this. Now I can take the log of both sides. So log of 0.75 equals, bring out the exponent, negative n, log of 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. And then we can get n by itself. Right. So we go to put this into our calculator. Log of 0.75 divided by log, sorry, negative log 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. Is that typed in correct? Yes, it is. Enter, and we get 57.68. So n is equal to 57. It would take 
58 payments. Now going to our TVM solver for the same one, N I P V P M T F V payments per year and compounds per year. So in this situation, again, we want to solve for how many payments. The interest rate is 6%. The present value, you get the money from the bank. They give you $15,000. That's your loan. You get the car. That value will be positive. You're making payments of $300. The future value will be zero because you don't want to owe any money in the end. Payments per year are 12. Compounds per year are 12. We're going to see if we get that same number, 57.68. 6%. You're given $15,000, making payments of $300. Future value is zero. Go up to the number of payments, alpha solve, 57.68. And the interesting thing about here is I like to work on here is how much are you going to pay for that $15,000 car? Well, we can take 57.68 and multiply it by 300, because that's how much your payments are. And in the end, you're going to pay $17,304 for your car. So the bank is collecting an extra $2,000. $304 in interest, okay? Tomorrow, we have our quiz. After the quiz, we're going to look some, at some bigger purchases that you're going to make in your life, such as mortgages. Questions for practice on this one are 7 and 12. 